I'd like to call to order the Shelby Township Planning Commission meeting of August 10th, 2015. Madam Secretary, will you please call the roll? Mr. Dallow? Here. Ms. Tosico? Here. Mr. Bernardi? Here. Mr. Turner? Here. Mr. Appone? Here. Mr. Vire? Here. Chairman Moffat is absent. Acting Chair Casale, we have a quorum. <coughs> Thank you, and let the record be known. We are joined by the planner, Mr. Wynn, and our attorney, Mr. Kirk. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. If there are no corrections, I ask for a motion. So, so moved. Move. Support. Moved by DeSico, support by Apone. Uh, next on the agenda, we have the approval of the minutes from July 13th, 2015. Support. I didn't hear the motion. Move. Moved by Dallo, support Sorry. by support. Moore. Sorry. And next is the approval of the minutes from July 20th, 2015. We need to have a vote on that. Did we vote on that? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's back up to the July 13, 2015. Uh, we have a motion and uh, um, to approve the July 13 minutes. Uh, I'll call the roll. Mr. Dallo? Yes. Ms. DeSico? Yes. Mr. Bernardi? Yes. Ms. Yes. Moore? Yes. Mr. Turner? Yes. Mr. Pone? Yes. Mr. Vyer? Yes. Thank you. Uh, next, we approve the minutes of July 20th, 2015 Master Plan Study Meeting. If there are no changes, I'll accept a motion. So move. Support. Motion by Turner, support by DeSico. Um, is there all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, next item is the site plan number 15-34, Greg Windenland, Brampton Court Condominiums, 12 detached single family lots, 5233 and 52205 Shaner Road, located on the west side of Shaner Road between 23 Mile Road and 24 Mile Road. This is a final review of the site plan. The petitioner here would like to comment. Good evening, everybody. Greg Windingland with Lombardo Homes, 51237 Danview Technology Court, Shelby Township, 48315. Trying to keep your eight minutes going here. Um, be more than happy to give any kind of overview of the project, answer any questions, anything I can do for you tonight. Okay. Uh, maybe I should turn it over to Mr. Wynn for your comments. Thank you. This is um, a 13 lot uh, single family condominium project, and the, the approval process occurs in two steps preliminary and final. Um, the preliminary is to review the design of the project. You may recall during the preliminary review, there were some concerns about tree removal and they adjusted the plans and were able to um, avoid having the need for some detention and were able to save considerably more trees than they anticipated, particularly along the south boundary. So that was a, a good feature of the, the redesign. So at the final phase, we're interested in making sure that there's been no changes to the design, and there hasn't been, and then to validate and make sure all the approvals from the agencies that have some jurisdiction over the roads and drainage and other site improvements have effectively signed off and said they're okay with us. Uh, so we have the approval letters from our engineer and from DEQ and whoever had some jurisdiction. They're all part of the packet. So all we're really concerned about this stage is validating that's the case. And once we do, then they're they're allowed to begin construction. And they um, they have made all those corrections, and they're ready to go. They will have to get an amended tree permit from the township board. That'll be on the next agenda. But otherwise, everything complies, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? Thank you. Uh, this is the plan, Mr. Wynn. Ms. Wynn, um, as far as the, the buffer zone we're going to have now, uh, you said that was a, somewhat increased from what they originally proposed. And uh, my question is, how do we safeguard that? I noticed in the one development behind Costco, there was trees. Uh, it seems like it went a little bit more extensive than what was uh, you know, in the original. So is there any way to safeguard that? Or Well, I think the way we do that, it may, Greg, could you point out where that is on the site plan? I think I want to point something else out. Um, the stormwater drainage 
um, the catch basins and the drain lines are between the lots, not along the rear property line. So what they'll be allowed to do after they get board approval is to remove the trees to put in the roads and the utilities, which is that central area where they gave you a plan. Trees on individual sites can't come out until they, they build the houses, and only then they can only build, remove trees outside of the building envelope. They can't just clear cut it. So I don't know if there's a conservation area there along the edges, but the normal sequencing is you don't remove trees until they're ready to be removed. So th this design maximizes the amount of trees that will be maintained on the site, particularly along that drainage basin, which was a big concern the original time this was submitted. But I think they've done. I think they've done a very good job in maintaining as much as they can. If, if I could, what, what Glenn was mentioning on the rear yard catch basins, if you can see, we have dead end fingers that come through here. Rather than traditionally, you'll have a trunk line that goes back, and then you'll have a storm sewer that's parallel to the rear property line. In this case, instead of doing that, we ran individual lines so that we would just have a single point back into those rear yard areas. That minimizes again the. Um, it's not the. We kind of abandoned the traditional way of doing it, which results in more tree loss. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Madam uh, Chair. Yes, Mr. Byer. I move to approve the final condominium plan for Brampton Court Condominiums, number one five thirty four, as submitted. Support. Forward. Motion by Vyer, support by Apone. By Turner. Oh, support by Turner, sorry. Um, I'll call the roll. Uh, Mr. Vyer? Yes. Mr. Turner? Yes. Mr. Dallow? Yes. Mr. Ms. DeSico? Yes. Mr. Bernardi? Yes. Ms. Moore? Yes. Mr. Apone? Yes. Um, and I vote yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks, Next. Great. Next on the agenda is the planning director's report. Mr. Wynn? Just a couple of items. Um, we had 13 sign applications last month and, and three temporary use permits. Um, that's pretty standard. I just wanted to give you an update on the master plan process and where we stand. Um, our consultants were real excited and impressed with the kickoff meeting, the engagement, the comments that everybody made. Um, keep that up. They really were happy about that. It was a very good meeting, one of the better ones I've been at in a long time, and I'm real happy about that. Our next public meeting will be an open house in September, which will, again, have more interaction. It will be a, an organized meeting with the consultants, and you'll be participating as well. Um, when we have that date finalized, we'll share it with everybody. You may recall we had that resident survey. I think many of you may have responded. We have <coughs> almost 600 participants, which was they were real happy with that. Um, the business survey was launched this week, so we're going to be contacting individual businesses to participate. So if you have somebody you think might that has a business in the community, please have them go to the website. There's a direct link. Um, we only had seven over the weekend, so we want to – he'd like to get almost 200. So Julie and I are going to be sending out emails to people we know in the Chamber of Commerce. So, we, you know, the more participation we get, the better off this plan is going to be. Or if you can think of somebody, just email us and we'll, we'll contact them. Um, we're doing part of the uh, master plan process is doing an update of the existing land use survey and some of these background reports and our college intern this summer is doing that <coughs> using him to do that is a pretty substantial cost savings rather than having a consultant do it and he's doing a good job um, or we hired our new associate planner he started last week and part of his job is to update all the re uh, uh, in, update our inventory of retail development in the township we did it two years ago we're going to update it again and put a lot of that information online so people coming looking for sites know what's available in the township um, and then um, as part of the master plan process I don't know if I told you we had uh, Howard Cohn you've not met Howard he's from that company out of Baltimore that part of our team he, inter he came in two days and interviewed uh, 14 different developer people in the development community because he wanted to know what the pulses of the community, what, what's happening. So he asked us to set up the interviews. We set up 14 interviews, and he interviewed each of these people for 45 minutes to an hour. He said he's never had that kind of response in any community he's ever worked in. And I understand he doesn't give compliments pretty freely, so we were pretty happy when 
he was, you know, he was getting a good cross section of people. Like Greg Windingland and Anthony Lombardo came in and talked to him for an hour because they want to get a feeling for what what's happening in the community. So we're doing a lot behind the scenes right now, and it's turning out to be very successful. So we're real happy with where we're at right now. So more to come. Next, this is an easy meeting. Don't look forward to that. The next few are going to have quite a few public hearings. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank Wynn. You. Uh, looks like we uh, have no business from the floor tonight, so I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Madam. Right. Moved by Dallas, support by DeSico. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.